Welcome to uh, tutorial number two for the crossover chart application. Um, this time I'll, s I'll show you um, some nice features that come with this program. Um, in order to give you a kickstart in actually starting up a, um, a crossover chart, you might actually want to start from something that you've been given by your designer. Now maybe your designer um, might have given you a document like this one. Uh, this is like a typical crossover chart that um, a sale designer might give you and this would come in the form of a um, an image, a JPEG image in my case. So let's go back to the crossover chart. Uh, what I would do in this case, I would go to Tools, Background Image and click on Load. This will prompt you um, with this window. You'll have to double click in the middle to load an image and I'm going to get the image uh, that my sale designer gave me. I'll then have to specify what the boundaries are. In that case, I knew by looking at it that it was between 0 and 180 uh, degrees for true and angle, and between 0 and 35 knots of true and speed. And then I click OK. What this effectively does is that it puts this image in the background of the um, crossover chart tool. And so I may now move it around and start designing my actual um, cell shapes in there. So I can go Tools, New, Cell Elements. I'll create one called J1, put it in a, a new group called Sales. And here it appears on top of um, my image. And all I've got to do now is do a bit of a click and dragging of the control points and um, ensuring that my shape looks quite similar. Might add a new control point here to be closer to that shape here and here we go we've got a we got a um, first shape for J1 I would then go on and do exactly the same for say uh, J3 on top of that so tools new sale elements give it another color so they don't all look the same put it in the sales group call this J3 click OK and same process, whoops, I clicked on the wrong one. Same process here. Do a bit of a click and dragging. And adapt it to the actual shape. Right, once I'm all done with that, I just remove the background image. Background image clear. And here we go. We have a replica of the crossover that was given to me by the cell designer. So nice feature here. Another feature that I would like to give you is um, the possibility of actually adding comments on your crossover chart. For instance, if you're looking at the crossover here between J1 and J3, you might have uh, noted that J3 works better in certain circumstances. So let's do this now. First of all, I would like to um, uh, get the right tab for the um, comments. So I'll click on View and Notes panel, it's called. Here it is. Make it a little larger down here. And I can now start and set my mouse anywhere do a right click, add note here. I then uh, must select an icon for it. I'll just select the uh, pencil one that looks like a comment and say J3 better in choppy C's. Click OK. And here it is. You can see my comment here. If I put my mouse over on the panel, you can see it here. And it also appears in my crossover chart. Right, nice feature here. Um, one final feature that I would like to show you is the possibility to take my crossover. I might hide this comment for the moment. And I would like actually to paste it in a document, say a Word document or Excel or whatever it may be. In this case, I can go Tools, Copy to Clipboard. You just have to select this once. Right, that's done. I will now go to a... Uh, document that I was typing, here in this case a WordPad, and all I have to do is edit, paste, and here it is. It's in there. Now I can go on and type whatever text I have to type. Right, that's it for tutorial 2.